Joe is up in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Joe, how can we help? Hey there, guys. My dad recently offered to buy me and my wife a new car, but he would be leasing it. Um, I, I'm just really calling in to see, should we accept it? And if we did, how do we go about that? I don't like almost anything about the situation. That's a <laughs> weird form of generosity because <laughs> you're putting him yeah. into debt. Is it in his name and you're just driving it? Is the title in your name and the loan's in his? So the title would be in his name, um, no. and he would just be giving it to us, and oh. we wouldn't have to make any payments. Oh, no. This is just no. haywire, man. I would not accept this. I'd say, hey, I appreciate the generosity. Uh, it's very kind of you, but this is going to put you in a precarious situation, yeah. and we want to own whatever we are driving, and we want it to yeah. be in our name, and I appreciate that. If you want to gift us, if you want to write a check to help us, purchase a new car in cash or a used car in cash, we would love that. But we don't want you going into debt and robbing your future for this gift. That's how I would yeah. put it as nicely as possible. Yeah, okay. What would that, he say to that? Uh, well, I told him that, and he he, he just replied back um, to accept it and to, uh, uh, yeah, just to accept it. So me and my wife have just been talking about it. There's nothing, real, it's more of, just in the talks, but knowing my dad, uh, it's very possible it could happen. And so, um, how's yeah. he doing financially? Is he like in an amazing spot? Or would you say eh. he he is? Um, I think he's in a good spot, um, but now managing his finances is another thing. So I think that's why it makes me worried. Yeah, listen, um, but listen, how old are you? I'm 22. Dude, you're a grown man. Yeah, like that whole knowing my dad is going to happen, and you're just resigning yourself to it. And I, if you called us for permission, we're not going to give you the permission. If you called us for verification that what you were feeling is correct, that he shouldn't do this, you don't want him to do this, then you are in fact right. And you, it's time for you to man up and say, "Pop, I don't want it. I'm not going to take it." And here's the reason why. Thank you. I'm very grateful. This is not a good financial move for you, and I don't want to be a part of it. I don't need it. Yeah. Do you have a car right now? Yeah, me and my wife both have two cars paid off, and, and they're so, fine. Yeah. Are yeah, you needing to upgrade one? Fine. Uh, no. I would love a truck, but we don't. We don't need one. So now let me know, just say this, words. Joe. There's no. You can't stop your dad. I mean, if he goes out and puts a lease in his name, but but you don't have to drive it. You can say, Hey, I told you not to do this. I'm begging yeah. you not to do it. I'm not going to drive And then it. tell them, you're going to have to pay the stupid tax because you're going to lose money on this deal after you have to get out of the lease. Right. And I don't yeah. want that for yeah. you. What do you think is motivating this, Joe? I think um, a little bit of it is that whenever I was growing up, he, him and my family weren't at the place that they're at now financially. Uh -huh. And so I think now one of the things that plays into it is he wants to um, you know, kind of, I guess, give me something we didn't have growing up. Yeah. Um, even though I wouldn't have had a truck growing up. I would, this, but, yeah. I would acknowledge that when you tell him, say, hey, I appreciate what you're doing. And it's, it's awesome. And I, and I'm, but it, it, I don't regret anything. I don't resent you. You know, like I, I would yeah. add some of that to this conversation, you know? And if he wants to do yeah. something smaller for you, say, hey, there's other ways that you could bless us that, that I think are, you know, much more financially responsible. Maybe a Jello of the Month Club. You know, I don't know. The Is gift, that a real yeah. thing? The gift that keeps on giving. Isn't that nobody from, like, Christmas that. vacation? Nobody wants that gift. No, nobody does. It's my point. Like, you don't need to bless us, Dad. Like, you don't have to give us something. Do you know and what I mean? tell him, you yeah. raised me to be independent, and I'm a grown man now, and I want to do this on my own and own it and really feel the ownership. And I feel like if you gift it to us, we're not going to be able to do that. Yeah. And so if you want to write yeah. us a check later on in life that can help go towards that truck, I'd love that, but yeah. no pressure. Yeah, just take the, the – the, like, you don't have to do this, Dad, you know? Yeah. And, yeah. and that, I think, hopefully comes from a spirit of gratitude and humility, and hopefully that will work, so – Tough stuff, though. Yeah, appreciate the call. Yeah. Thank you. That's uh, a dad who means well, and but creates a really awkward situation, and then obviously a bad financial situation for himself. Well, how many calls do we get where the kids are going, hey, my parents didn't take care of themselves financially, and now we have to? Right.
And that's what I see in the next 20 years for this guy. Yeah, absolutely.